The history of foreigners coming to Greece shows so many who fall in love with the Greece they find here. They enjoy the rich complexity of Greece, of village life, of the cultures, of the dancing, of the traditions. Uh, there's so many studies that if you want to live to be 100, live like they do on a Greek island. You can't get this experience if you're on a cruise ship just looking at the islands go by. So many people need to find out what Greece is really like. They think of Greece only in terms of ancient Greece, classics, uh, you know, everybody from Socrates to Homer. Uh, and they don't know the rest of Greece. Well, we don't uh, produce many things, and what we export is not enough. Mainly olive oil and, and uh, wine are best products, but not enough. And so what supports Greece is tourism. And of course, uh, people coming to Greece come to love the country. Instead of being xenophobic, uh, Greece has always been open. Uh, start with Homer and the Odyssey. Remember, when Odysseus goes to a strange place, they don't know him. Every place he goes to, they wash him, they give him new clothes, they feed him, and then they ask a question, who are you? <laughs> so that kind of hospitality, that friendship. Um, and let's be honest about the refugee situation in the world right now, because Greece is on the border with Turkey and everything. They have hundreds of thousands of refugees who've come here. The rest of Europe has said no now, and they're stuck in Greece. Are they dying? No, the Greeks are doing everything they can to help keep them alive, but they're not pushing them off into the sea. They are trying to find a way to help. Well, Greece is uh, opened, we can say, uh, the heart and the hands to those who came from Syria mostly. Greeks were also refugees from a long time ago. Many Greeks had to leave their land and immigrate. So we know the pain of losing your life, your country, your family, and we try to help. It's not easy for them and for us because we can't give them jobs, we can't provide properly. Greeks tried to give whatever they could, and we hope to improve this to, uh, in a way, bring more people in Greece and share our problems to those who can understand and perhaps help in the future. It's so touching that Greece, as a small country, has a sense of hospitality. They want to help, and they do help. But they've had hard times, a thousand years of the Byzantine Empire, 400 years under the Turks, how they survived World War I, II, their own civil war, how they are surviving during these hard economic times. The Greeks are guilty of many mistakes, and they admit it. They, they know they have done a lot of things wrong. Um, it's also true that things got more expensive immediately when they switched from the drachma, the coins before the euro, and then they switched to euro. You could find a hotel room on drachmas for, say, $20. But really, the, the moment they switched to the euro, it was like at least double that, $40 today. What? Okay. Things for uh, people that are uh, my age and younger age are, are, are really tough uh, to have a normal salary. Uh, because the unemployment rates here are maybe 50% for the guys and girls that are 25. We don't have a good government that we deserve, but on a personal basis, we are very, uh, you know, we're working really hard in making things happen. It's not easy because we're always having barriers and walls and legislation and taxation and prejudice from abroad. Oh, you Greeks are lazy. Oh, you're doing this all the right. You are corrupted. And when I went to Oklahoma uh, a few years ago, I was in, uh, in France waiting for the uh, airplane to come and uh, take me to Atlanta. And there was this uh, French guy. Yes, he said to me, okay, you are Greek, open your bag because you are maybe an illegal immigrant. So we have a, a very, we can say, high unemployment that can be officially, they say, 25%. We're not more than 30. And if we count the young ones who immigrate because they can't find jobs, it can be 60%. People cannot. Most of the people actually um, are, are 
desperate and homeless, many of them in our days, and with no jobs. There are many factors that can be actually for this. Uh, Greece was uh, left behind because of a long, going way back, Ottoman occupation. We had to, make, to take many loans to free the country. We kept on facing this endless, for us, economic and political instability. One thing brought the other. Our biggest mistake of our modern history is to join the Europe. Greece was, wasn't prepared for such a change because, because we don't produce much in the country and we don't have the infrastructure to be a real member in a producing uh, union. And uh, Greece was, in a way, pushed into asking the help of the MF. And when this happened, uh, the door of, of uh, hell opened for us. From that time on, uh, things go from worse to worse. And we came to this. Uh, after 2008, Greece uh, had to make an agreement with the IMF and we gave our sovereign rights. And we don't decide anymore for ourselves again. And uh, the program that they gave us, for many of us, is a fatal program uh, and that killed completely our economy. Just a new agreement was made, which actually enslaved Greece for 99 years. Uh, no thinking, we can say, creature uh, can really believe that Greece can survive through this. To be actually 99 years, a century, again through uh, tough economic conditions. The plan we have is not, doesn't look um, promising to at least to stop the unemployment and give jobs and uh, improve the economy anytime soon. So I don't know what they're thinking. And, it's the, uh, the um, average person who's the one that's really suffering. My relatives are the ones that are suffering, the children are suffering, the young people especially are suffering through this thing and they certainly didn't do anything really to cause it. It's really too bad because the politicians and many other people and banks have profited from um, Greece's um, difficulties. Now we all feel that we are in a vicious circle. Somebody puts in the decision-making uh, places, people that do not uh, that they, they do not have our ideas, the, the middle normal Greek. For example, uh, my income for last year, the 80% was taken in uh, taxes and social security because the government, I, I declare everything because everything is online. So I have to declare everything, but my government believes as a, as a fact that I'm stealing. So if I give the 80% of my declared income, I must have something else, so I must leave somehow. <laughs> I mean, any government would do the same. It's a little out of our hands. This is how a middle um, Greek feels. Corruption was still is alive in Greece. No one is trusting Greece anymore. No one is investing in Greece and we fight to keep uh, the country on its feet. So it's, it's not easy time for us, but we are fighters, we can say, and we've been through so much in the country. So, uh, it's gonna be a hard road, but uh, the Greeks have, for thousands of years, survived, and so there's a sense, there's gotta be a way to get through this. And is Greece having a crisis? Yes, but if you knew about the Greek crisis and walked through the square last night, you say, Greece really has a crisis. Look at these people, they're happy, they're enjoying life. There is that spirit that no matter what you go through in Greece, let's dance and celebrate. And still on this island of Kea, you can walk around and see people leave keys in the door. So despite all of these problems, they are finding ways. According to the legend, the first woman was Pandora. Pandora, the name Pandora means the one with all the gifts. And she was given by the gods a box containing uh, gifts for people, but she shouldn't open it, but because she was not perfect uh, and curious, opened the box and everything went out. Because of that, people came simply, they came in touch with evil, and the only thing that was left in the box, that's what mythology says, was hope. That's what we say in Greece, still say in our days, that even when everything is lost, we have hope in Pandora's box. So that's what we keep hoping that we can make it in a very tough, economic, global, probably, uh, time. 
we are very optimistic. I mean, I mean, uh, the people that are here are very uh, hard workers. Uh, we are very proud of ourselves. Uh, we are, we are somehow we are we are we are there somehow with less money, but with uh, with, with a lot of heart.